Look, I'm sitting in a pile of radioactive sludge. I'd like to talk to you today about a subject that we don't often put much thought to. That of the word justice. What is justice? Put your dictionary away because you won't need it. Justice means that somebody gets hurt. When someone says the word justice, it usually is meant as something where wrongs must be righted. But the truth of the matter is that when the word justice is used, there is an end result that brings about that justice. What is the end result of bringing about justice? The end result is somebody has to be harmed. Justice requires hurting someone. If you think about every instance of justice and exacting justice, bringing justice about that you can think of at all, social justice, criminal justice, it doesn't matter. What is justice? Justice is harm. Because if someone steals from you, how do you exact justice upon them? You punish them. You make them give back what they stole or something of equivalent value. You take of that person who took of you. In the concept of social justice, it works a little bit differently than criminal justice, but the end result is the same. You see, social justice sees everything as groups of people, usually filtered based on attributes that either they have no control over or that are very difficult to change quickly. So you have white people, black people, straight people, gay people, males, females. These attributes are fairly immutable. But what is social justice? It is when these groups of people are compared and found to have differences in what they possess or what is given to them. So how is social justice performed? Social justice is exacted not by throwing someone in jail, but by forcing the people that are perceived to have more to have less by taking of them and giving to the other group, by preventing them from getting opportunities. Social justice, just like criminal justice, requires harming someone to achieve. Any form of justice requires harm. So whenever you hear the word justice, replace it in your mind with hurting someone else for good. When you do this, it starts to sound a lot less like justice because you start to realize that if you're hurting someone else for good, you're still hurting someone else. So your standard must be higher. If you are going to hurt someone else to achieve justice, you had better have a damned high bar to reach. Otherwise, you're just hurting someone and you're not doing it for good. Or the good is not outweighed by the injury that you must put upon that other person. Think twice before you support justice because justice hurts. Have a wonderful evening.